Welcome. In this session, we'll explore an elastic net. We'll do this only briefly. We won't go through computations because the data that we used in a previous session were well explained using a lasso. A problem is, when does a lasso fail? Because every method fails at some point. Well, the authors of the, uh, of the paper that we're about to explore considered a particular situation which what happens when you have many more variables than you have observations. This happens in real life. What we see from linear algebra is that the matrix is short and wide and we could say that the problem is seriously under constraint. And the idea behind a selection process is it will select from this large number of variables, it will select the few that are a good explanation for the observations that you have. In this sort of problem, computationally in practice, we find that the ridge regression outperforms the lasso. And the lasso has a particular shortcoming that's associated with these, and that is what happens when you have a group of variables that are themselves highly correlated. So you can imagine that some group uh, of p variables here are very highly correlated. What will happen is the lasso will select only one of those uh, in the group and it won't regard the other ones which a user may want to see, oh, all of these are highly correlated with the observations that we've made. The idea that we'll explore is called an elastic net and the previous idea, which was the lasso, was first presented in 1995-1996 and 10 years later some colleagues of these people pr proposed a different one. The reason they called it an elastic net was it retains all the big fish according to their paper. So we now have an, a slightly amusing intellectual progression. We have a non-negative garrote going to a lasso, going to an elastic net. And it's elastic in two ways. One is that you can expand it and contract it, and that's by using the hyperparameter lambda. And then they also give you a way, in effect, what this, what an elastic net does. It's is a linear blend between a ridge regression regularization term and the lasso regularization term. So let's recall the ridge regression term was the square of the L2 norm, and the lasso regression term was the L1 norm. And what they introduce is a second hyperparameter, alpha. And the idea of this blending function is it uses this regularization. Their original one, which they called naive, um, naive regression, the naive elastic net, was let's take 1 minus alpha times the square of the L2 norm and add alpha times the L1 norm. And you can see that as if alpha equals zero, that this is pure ridge regression. And if alpha equals one, this is pure lasso. And in between, it's doing a blend. And so this allows you one more degree of freedom in analyzing your data. A later improvement for technical reasons is they use one minus alpha over two. As I said, we won't go through a computation because the lasso on our data worked fairly well, but let's try to understand the geometry of the elastic net. So let's take a look at the, at the set of feasible points, and when alpha equals zero, the set of feasible points is this circle, which is ridge regression. If I increase alpha to one-third, what I see is that now it's shrunk a bit, and that's the effect of the 1 minus alpha over 2. And it's squared these corners, and so these corners have an opportunity to attract um, a selection process. If, a, if an optimizer, if the optimum point, a minimizer, was on the boundary here, then it would look more like a ridge regression. And as it approaches a corner, it's going to be looking more like a selection process. If I increase alpha to two-thirds, what I get is it is increasingly square, and by the time alpha equals one, this is the shape of our regularizer. So it's become a more or less pure lasso. 
So what have we gone through in this lecture? Well, we've recalled standardization, which is a way of adjusting mean and variance that's highly recommended for uh, problems that have substantial numbers of variables. Ridge regression is Tikhonov regularization, which uses an L2 term. The lasso is an L1 regularization term. And the elastic net is a linear blend of ridge regression and the lasso.